Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. Today's video is for those of you who might not be following the great guitar build off too closely or maybe you just don't have the time to be watching all those videos for the unofficial competition. So right now there's somewhere around 140 competitors in the unofficial competition, myself included, but when it comes down to the finish only a small handful can win. So today I put together a list of 10 builders who I think you should definitely check out and consider voting for. The order is just my opinion, but I base my choices off criteria such as creativity, video quality, and overall effort. So first off here we got Prestige Rose Guitars. This man, he seems like a great person, his videos are personally enjoyable for me. I have watched all of his videos for this competition so far. And he's building a 5 string Telecaster. Now this is a very interesting choice of design, and he's been executing it quite well. But he had a slight mishap and he has to start over, but look at that piece of wood. He's using some excellent 5A flame maple. Definitely check him out, he means some serious business. Up next at my number 9 spot I got Sad Fernando Guitars. This guy, he's very fun, all of his videos have some humor, some quality content, you should definitely check him out. He's a talented luthier making another T-style guitar, and in general I really like his YouTube channel, so make sure you check him out. Next one I put here on my list is Miles McNally. His YouTube channel, I think he just started it recently, but he's been putting out some pretty good content for the great guitar build off. He's an extremely experienced woodworker with some serious talent, like just look at the fretboard on his guitar. I really like his design for this guitar as well as the general build of it. It's, I'm hoping to see this turn out very well. The next guy on this list only made number 7 which just goes to show the quality of builders in this competition. Just like me, Casey Electrics has been in this competition since the very beginning. He started off with some mahogany and quilted maple and turned it into a spectacular hollow body Telecaster. The classic Tele design isn't too out of the ordinary, but this is definitely a top of the line instrument. Now this next guy, I wasn't too sure where to put him on this list, but I really liked his guitar. He made it out of solid metal. He welded together all sorts of tools, scrap metal, nuts, bolts, you name it, and he built this amazing thing. I didn't really watch all of his videos, I just watched some of the final ones, but it really looks awesome. I really gotta give him props for the creativity and execution. Okay, now we're into the top five, the big ones, the ones you should definitely take a look at. So coming in at the number 5 spot here we got Derek Fenstermacher, otherwise known as Nails. In my opinion, he put so much effort and time into this guitar, it looks amazing, he seems like a really cool guy, and honestly it might be thanks to him that we have this unofficial competition as it is, because in one of his videos he said he sent out a message to Crimson Guitars asking if he could still enter even though he was not using a Crimson kit. It was shortly after that that they changed the rules, so anybody can enter. So if it is thanks to him, we need to give him a huge round of applause because that really opened up all these doors for everybody. The next one I chose for this list is someone I'm actually not too familiar with, Jason Minx. He's made a guitar that he named Odin, and it looks like he put in a ton of time and effort into it. It really came out great, it looks like he has a ton of skill with carving, and apparently this one's a crowd favorite. So if you haven't seen his videos, make sure to check him out before you vote. Okay, so we're cruising our way up the list, and if you're enjoying this video, please feel free to like and subscribe. It really helps out the channel, and it helps to make sure you don't miss out when I post new videos. Let's jump back into it at the top three. Okay, so coming in at number three, we got a true OG of this competition, Raymond Baggett. This dude has done some pretty insane guitars in the past, and this one's probably at the top. He did some extreme inlay work with an amazing dragon design, and honestly, I really love the color scheme. He's been in this competition since the very beginning, and he's one of the few people who actually bought a kit from Crimson. I really hope he wins this competition, because it's truly an amazing guitar. Number two on my list is another epic guy from across the pond, King Bespoke Creations. He did a really awesome design on this guitar, it's an angel wing strat, so it looks like angel wings are surrounding and hugging this guitar. Not only that, but he actually carved it from a church pew. That is really cool in my opinion. Of all the people in this competition, I actually think he has some of the best video work. In addition to great video and audio quality, he just seems like an experienced YouTuber, despite his channel being very new. Check him out, you won't be disappointed. Coming in at number one, drum roll please. Nah, just kidding. I did build the guitar for this, but after seeing all these guys, I really don't feel like I stand a chance. If you still want to vote for me, that would be cool though. 
But in all seriousness, we wouldn't really be here without this last guy, E.R. Webster. He's definitely very skilled and he's put a lot of care into this guitar. What makes him special is that he's been like the godfather of this competition. At the beginning, it was just him and Ray Baggett with their kids from Crimson. And when I saw their videos, I was inspired to build my dream guitar. Shortly after, we started seeing more entries start to pop up, and this dude put together a playlist of all the videos so viewers could keep track of all the builds. He has persevered through multiple mishaps and mistakes, and he's determined to make his guitar as best as it can be. One thing that definitely sets him apart is that he has promised to auction this guitar for charity just like the official competition. So if anybody deserves to be an honorary official competitor next year, it's him. Thank you all for watching. I'm going to put links to all of these channels in the description. Subscribe to all of them, watch their videos, show them support. Thanks for watching, and I'm out.